First up though, guys, they go on a little road trip. Yeah. All right, guys, we are back in action. Just got done with our road trip over to Atalanto with this uh, crazy contraption with the sidecar hanging off the back of the van. Honestly, it's a pretty sketchy looking setup. But uh, yeah, we're here to do a side hack race and dirt bike race. We're gonna get signed up. All right, just got signed up. Uh, got new little number plate number. Also, just found out this is a non-AMA race, so we can actually run cameras on the helmets. Unfortunately, though, I brought my wrong helmet without a helmet cam mount, so uh, I'm trying to figure something out. Uh, I think I have some little helmet cam sticky mounts or something. Still better than wearing the chesty or some other camera mount. So, The race starts in uh, about an hour or so, so go ahead and get unloaded, get dressed, get ready to go race. Okay, so we're all geared up, bikes are unloaded, ready to go. We're actually racing at the same time this race. So I'm racing 30 plus, my dad is 50 plus. Let's see what happens, I guess. Hoping to have fun. There's an enduro cross section inside the baseball stadium. It looks like it's gonna be pretty fun, pretty challenging. I wish we could practice it, but we can't. But let's see what happens. Okay, weekenders just got done with the race it's pretty hot out there uh, the track was actually a whole lot of fun pretty much sandy silty loops the whole time but they also have a water truck that's going around watering like pretty much the entire track enduro cross section pretty stinking fun uh, the loops were a little big in that enduro cross thing but uh, overall 10 out of 10 on the track and you might have noticed that I uh, passed up my dad in the race, even though he started four rows behind me. So I'm thinking he's gonna have some sort of excuse and he's actually pulling up right now. So get a little interview with him and see what his excuse is. All right, let's hear the excuse. Crashed pretty hard. I think I broke my femur, but probably not because I'm still walking, but if my leg hurts so bad that uh, I think I'm done. Wow. I crashed really, I was in first place when I crashed, Joe. I was in first. At least the bike stayed running. Yes. All right, guys, we just made it to uh, Santa's Village. Unfortunately, this guy was not faking it with his injury, so I don't know if he's gonna be able to ride. 
And more unfortunate news, this sketchy uh, setup right here went ahead and shattered the back window. Okay guys, we just literally just got into the park and this guy's already trying to get some food. You cannot stop him. One run in with the hurt leg. How is it? Uh, it's okay. Uh, a little stiff, but uh, I'll survive. Having lots of fun. Uh, temperature's great, trail's great. Looking forward to the next one. Hang on, hang on, hang on. So we just got back to the van. I just pulled out the rest of the glass out of the van because there were some bits falling out even while we were just right over here, like not moving. So I didn't want it to be flying off while we're driving. But anyways, we are done with the ride and uh, Honestly, had a pretty good time. A little shorter time than usual because of the hurt leg on the dad. But let's go get a little talk with him, see what he thinks about it. What do you think about Sky Park at Santa's Village? Hey, first spot. Ah! Got Sky Park at Santa's Village. First time here. Definitely like it. Definitely uh, friendly. Place to ride. Nothing very difficult. And uh, definitely 10 out of 10. Got to come back. Well, I think what we're going to do is head back to the track for the sidecar race that's tomorrow because that way we can unload the sidecar and get the bed set up in the back and stuff like that so uh yeah i'm gonna load get loaded back up get on the road all right weekenders uh it's sunday morning now since the old window was busted out and stuff on the van uh, my dad decided to sleep on the top bunk in the front of the van I'm over here at the uh, pilot in Hesperia, I've stayed here before quite a few times. A lot of road noise, a lot of wind, and you really hear it with no back window. But we are awake now. I'm gonna go inside the truck stop, grab a little bite to eat, and then head back to the track. It's only like 15 minutes from here, so uh, should be there pretty soon. Well, weekenders at the track, geared up, wearing the gray gear today. Uh, Honestly, you could probably call it silver gear. We're gonna get the silver medal today, second place. There's only two side hacks racing today. Of course, my dad got the injury, and uh, we're hoping that we can just survive the race. But we're also hoping to have a good time. That's the main plan.
right guys, the side hack race is over. It was a honestly a pretty epic battle. A lot of passes back and forth. Uh, yeah, it, it, there was a point where I gotta admit I told the driver to slow down a little bit because I could barely hold on. But I kind of regained my composure, and then I feel like we were doing pretty good. I, I felt like we were going fairly slow, but the other guys were behind us almost the whole time. They didn't pass us for the first time until like lap three. And we ended up doing five laps total. So a lot of passes back and forth. Coming into probably the fourth or fifth to last turn. That was a left-hander. I think the driver slammed on the front brakes or something. And we ended up tipping over. Find their weight bars. So we ended up second place, but had a great time. Dad? Oh uh, yeah, a lot of back and forth passing. We definitely were slow to start with. I've ridden in a long time. Got the hurt leg from yesterday's crash. And uh, overall, we had a blast. Uh, when the guys passed us, we stepped it up. Uh, definitely get more experience. I'm looking forward to next season and uh, winning some races. Okay, so we're all changed up hitting the road right now and just got an email from a guy out in sandy valley nevada to go check out an airplane so that's where we're headed to to sandy valley to go look at another airplane because there's no work tomorrow so three hours or so to get there but of course where are we going first we're going to go eat Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. All right, guys. Uh, just checked out the plane. We're leaving the hangar now. Um, just to let you guys know, it's another 336. I don't know why I keep looking at these things. I just love them. Okay, weekenders. Um, we found our next stop for the night at the uh, low gas. It's actually an abandoned gas station, guys. The building's like been caught on fire and all kinds of stuff. But you can't really see too well, but way down yonder, the road is completely stopped. The Google map says it's a three hour uh, traffic jam. There were signs on the interstate that said that the interstate was closed up ahead. So uh, we also talked to some people that said there was a truck that exploded, something like that. So. Even if we got to the next little town of Baker, we're going to get there at probably 9 or 10 o'clock at night. We've already been up for a long time. We're both tired. We decided we'll just call it a night early over here at the abandoned gas station. And uh, in the morning, no more traffic. Okay, weekenders, so it is official now. We got the bed set up in the van. And we're still at the uh, low gas over here. But also, the traffic is still dead stop. You might be able to see now a little bit better with the lights. Yeah, it hasn't moved. I think we made the right decision because I'm already pretty tired. We would have been still sitting down on the middle of the interstate. So, going to bed. See you in the morning. Well, good morning, weekenders. It's uh, Monday morning now, Memorial Day weekend. Or Memorial Day, I guess. We ended up waking up a little early and finished up the drive back to Shafter. So we just arrived at the Shafter Airport. And yeah, I guess I'm gonna do a little bit of unloading. My dad's gonna go take a shower. And I'm gonna go take a shower. I'm gonna do some flying, go eat some breakfast because we're both starving. Okay guys, we're both showered up, feeling much better. Waiting on George and Stacy to show yeah. up. But uh, in the meantime, check out George's new airplane.
right, guys. Good news is George and Stacy made it. Bad news is the duster stopped with a vertical prop, so gotta fix that sucker. There we go. Now we won't get made fun of. Well, weekenders, back home now. Made it back safe and sound from the flight. Just finished unloading the van, washing up dirt bikes, washing up mountain bikes, things like that. So, uh, yeah, it's not exactly late in the day, but I'm pretty tired, guys. I gotta wake up bright and early, first thing in the morning, to go to Louisiana for the week. So, I'm gonna go ahead and end this weekend vlog early here and go start working on this video for you guys. So, hope you guys enjoyed watching it because I sure enjoyed living it. See you next time. Croissant!